Later that night, I got on my knees at bedside there in my apartment in Pittsburgh, and I prayed the sinner's prayer that I remembered as a child to make it official. That was the beginning of my new life in Christ. The Lord promised me a wife and a son. It's a long way out of a lifestyle like this. There were many human habits to work off. The chains of sin were broken. There was a walk-off period there. Did he take away your temptation when you gave your life to him? All of your temptation towards sin? No. So it doesn't always happen that our temptation toward a particular sin is removed. Matthew chapter 4. Even Christ was tempted, yet without sin. He's our best example. So we're called to walk in newness of life. We're called to die daily to self, to live for Christ. It's not a perfect process, but we try. And the Lord brings us from one degree of glory to another, to be more and more like Him as we follow Him. He promises to complete the work that He began until the day of Christ. Praise God. So eventually the Lord let out of the company that I had been working for for almost 15 years. And I was a taxi driver in Pittsburgh for a couple of months. So it was kind of like rapid fire evangelism training, people from many different cultures and backgrounds and religions and, and values. And at one point I had a, a young man in the back of the car who was really like me in my past life. And he came at me with all he had, just like I would have back in all of my bitterness and, and irritation and anger. And the Lord used that to train me and then sent me to Cambodia. I had been there on three short term missions previously. He sent me to Cambodia, was there for what I didn't realize at the time was about a 10 month or nine month kind of uh, thrown into the fire like a, a boot camp type of thing. Learned a lot there with bucket showers, with rainwater and, and squat toilet, and sometimes the food difficult to, to handle, and struggled with acceptance in, in the church. Ultimately went to Thailand, the next door neighbor of Cambodia. Cambodia is about the size of Missouri. Went over to Thailand, the city of Bangkok, and that's where the Lord, after I thought, that I hadn't made it. I thought that I had failed the Lord. The Lord launched our ministry to the LGBT. And so the Lord led out into the red light districts there. It's very much a sin city, a hub for prostitution. To share the gospel with those folks, to share, the, share what he had done for me, he can do for you. In Bangkok, I looked for a church to attend and that's where I met my wife. We met at the church in Thailand. I was the greeter that Sunday. So I said, Sawadika. And then he said, Sawadika. And I said like, oh, you're so tall. He said, you're tall too. Uh, I said, no, I'm cheating because I'm wearing high heels. When I saw her and bear in mind seven years after the Lord had delivered me and walking in newness of life and reading the Bible every day and praying every day and attending service, and getting into service to find out who I am. The Lord's doing a work, doing a work, doing a work. I see my wife there, and we do the, the greetings and, and meet one another, and there's something different about the experience. I'm magnetically attracted to her, and not in a sisterly, brother-sister kind of way, but in a genuine male and female kind of way, where I know that I'm the man, she's the woman, I know how this works. And obviously there was a lot to learn from there, but it's something I can't describe how the Lord works. It's a miracle, praise God. He's really restored all that the locusts have eaten. We serve and we're based in Southeast Asia. My wife's from the Philippines. We met in Thailand and have served in Cambodia and Thailand, trying to be a resource to folks really worldwide. We found going around even to rural churches in Pennsylvania, there's typically at least one family in the church who's impacted by homosexuality and gender identity. So there's a great need for this in the last days when uh, many, many people are struggling with this type of thing.